I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Do you have autism? If so, you probably have trouble making friends because normally people with autism don't really have the social skills needed to make friends. I myself have Asperger's, which is high functioning autism. So I don't have good social skills either. So we need to work together in order to improve our social skills. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you some ways that you can improve your social skills, whether you have autism or you're shy in general. Yes, this video is for all shy people, not just people with autism. I couldn't get any humans to star in this video with me, so we're going to pretend my dog Lily is a human in this video. Let's get into the video. This first tip is for people with autism who struggle with eye contact. We all know the struggle. The real reason for this is because people with autism see eyes as scary. So instead of looking at the other person's eyes, look at their forehead. The other person will think you are looking them in the eye when you really aren't. If that is too hard for you, just looking towards the other person when talking to them is fine. This next tip is for people who are afraid to say hello to anyone. When you're shy, it means you're afraid of what other people think when you talk to them. And people with autism are painfully shy. The right thing to do is just say hello to them, like this. Hi, Lily. Oh, hi, Alexa. See? I said hello to Lily when I saw her, and it was fine. If you say hello to someone and they don't respond, either they didn't hear you or they are just a rude person. Try saying hello to the person again if they don't respond the first time you say hello. If they are a rude person, that's their problem, not yours. You are not doing anything wrong when saying hello to someone. This next tip is for people who are afraid to address someone when they are talking to them. Addressing someone is when you say someone's name when you're talking to them. The reason for this struggle is the same exact reason for the struggle to say hello. Shyness. So when you're talking to someone, just address them when it's necessary. Instead of doing this, so I hear you have abandonment issues, do this. So Lily, I hear you have abandonment issues. Addressing someone when you're talking to them is the proper thing to do because that way they'll actually know you're talking to them and who you're talking to. If you talk to someone without addressing them, they will not know who you're talking to or if you're talking to them. Also, don't be selfish when socializing with people. Be considerate of others. For example, ask questions when you are talking to someone. Ask them questions about their life. So, Lily, how have you been? I'm doing good. As you can tell from that, there is absolutely nothing wrong with asking someone questions. Also, do not interrupt someone when they are talking to you. Here is what happens when you interrupt someone. I was born in 2010, and then I got abandoned. But then I got- My dad is going to Florida tomorrow. Hey, I was talking. You interrupted me. Did you notice how I made Lily feel when I interrupted her? She was not happy. Instead of interrupting someone when they are talking to you, listen to them. Take an interest in what they're saying. Don't talk over them. Also, it makes people happy when you share things with them. 
like this. Mmm. Mm. This is a good drink. Hey, Lily, you want some? Even if you like something, you should be considerate and share it with others so they'll get a chance to like it too. My last tip is to speak up when you witness someone doing something wrong or inappropriate, whether it would be in public or if one of your friends is doing something wrong. Here's an example. Hey Lily, that is so disgusting. Stop. See what I did when Lily was licking the bed? I spoke up. I told her that it was inappropriate and to stop doing it. That's it for this video. I hope this video helps you improve your social skills if you have autism. Please keep in mind that Lily can't actually talk. I put a voice over on her to make it look like she was talking. Anyways, if you have autism or you're shy, do the things I did with Lily with people. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to comment down below some of your tips to improve social skills. Thank you for watching. Bye.